<laughs> it must be exhausting being a woman. I read a thing the other day that absolutely broke me. Do you know, 85% of young women in the UK have been sexually harassed in public places. I was speaking to some female mates. I didn't realise how much effort goes into staying safe after a night out. When a man's walking home, he's thinking kebab, FIFA, wank. <laughs> women, you have to be like Jason Bourne. You're in the middle of the road, keys between your fingers, crossing the road in case you're being followed, memorising number plates, phone out of your pocket, but not so much that somebody can see it, sharing your Uber status with friends, checking Google Maps, creating backstories. Here's my boyfriend. What are you doing? A home lifting weights. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about killing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see you in a bit, you mad, mad bob. What, are you going to meet us outside with a hammer? Yeah, right. But love you. Bye, Conor McGregor. Bye. <laughs> My boyfriend, Conor McGregor, is having a party with The Rock. It must... <laughs> it must be exhausting. You're being beeped at, whistled at, groped, followed, catcalled, rubbed up against. People telling you to smile all the fucking time. <laughs> if you lose your temper, what do these pricks say? You can't even talk to them! Yes, you can! <laughs> but there's a difference between hello and... I <gasps> with her. Because <laughs> not only... <laughs> not only is... Not only is it aggressive, degrading and humiliating, crucially, it doesn't work. <laughs> when a woman leans down to pick up a bag, some prick is always like, whoa, you're down there. <laughs> not once. Has <laughs> <laughs> a woman gone, well, I'm in the vicinity. <laughs> Treat them mean, keep them keen. That's another one. Bullshit! <laughs> Women don't like it when you're cruel. Jot turns me on, Linda, when I'm belittled. <laughs> oh, he come in the other day, said you've got cankles in the brain like a sparrow. Well, I needed a mop. <laughs> I said, so oh, denigrated. <laughs> I wonder, I really do, I wonder why men treat women like pieces of meat. And I think a lot of it is to do with porn. Obviously, it's not the only reason, but if you learn about sex through porn, as every young man does, it's going to warp your view of sex. And porn and sex are very different, as anyone who's ever filmed themselves would agree with. <laughs> you look like two potatoes fighting. <laughs> And the majority of porn is all about degrading and dominating women. In, out, fuck off next. <laughs> but that's not what sex is like, is it? From a heterosexual male point of view, what's the best feeling? The moment you make her orgasm. It's an incredible feeling. You never see that look of giddy excitement on a male porn star's face, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. You feel so alive. Your cock's down there like Usain Bolt, just... <laughs> but we don't see that. Instead, porn is getting nastier and freakier and creepier. Did you know the people are now into fidget spinner porn? <laughs> Tentacle porn is very much a real thing. I mean, Christ, incest is the fastest growing trend in porn. What the sweet Mary Piss? I have <laughs> never been with a girl and gone, listen, you couldn't dress up as my auntie, could you? <laughs> if folks are educating themselves through this kind of vile shit, it's no wonder they talk about sex like it's a horrible prank show. You've heard it in every football dressing room. There's always one wanker going, Oi, boys, ever done a pirate? <laughs> ever done a strawberry cheesecake? Ever done a dirty Sanchez, boys? What you do, right? You shove your thumb up her bum, right? And you give her a poo moustache. And you're like, no! <laughs> no one's ever done that, you despicable prick! <laughs> but that's the dominant voice. Women don't have that. I very much doubt any one of you has ever gone, oh, Linda, you ever done the rodeo? Yeah, what you do, right? You jump on his cock, you go, I've got thrust, you've got to see how long you can stay on there for. <laughs> Why is it always nasty? Just once, wouldn't you love to see a player go, Oi, boys, ever done a penguin? <laughs> What's that? Bang her till she waddles. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, 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 you're mate for life. 
Oh. Yeah, right. Like, she goes out of work and you look after the kids. It's, it's good for you, it's good for us. Sort of co parenting, in a sense. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say, we shouldn't learn about sex through porn, and sex education needs to be taken more seriously. I mean, mine was ridiculous. We put a condom on a broomstick. <laughs> it's not useful. Don't get me wrong, safe game of Quidditch. But. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't teach me anything about women. We need to be teaching consent, equality, respect, because porn is acting, it's fantasy. In fact, right, instead of having porn stars that degrade women, I've got an idea. Why don't we have porn stars that treat them nicely? Do you know, do you know who I want to see in porn? Philip Schofield. <laughs> sweet, sweet pit. Sweet, gentle pit. The hairy bikers. <laughs> don't worry, love, if you don't come, I've made your lovely Eccles king. <laughs> Josh Widdicombe, does it get more lovely? <laughs> Boy next door than him. <laughs> just, just having a lovely sex experience. <laughs> it's a wonderful mutual orgasm. <laughs> That's got to be healthier, right? So if you're watching, bikers, Josh, Pip. <laughs> Do your bit. <laughs> Pull down your pants and show the kids how it's done. 